Hey guys, welcome to Bait. So today I'm gonna start off with a bunch of new products. We're just gonna dive right in and let's get to it. So first off, we're gonna use Physician's Formula Refreshment for an eye depuffer. It has um, cucumber and bamboo in it. This is what it looks like, the product. So we're going to use that under your eyes. It's an eye deep puffer, so I wouldn't suggest it using it anywhere else. Um, and then after we use this, we're going to prime the skin. And then you can kind of just circle it around. It doesn't get like excess or anything like that. And it is clear, so I have used this product before sparingly. But you automatically just feel the tightness. I should have just only did one side. But I don't want to look like a fruit. <laughs> okay, so that's done. I got a new makeup bag, by the way. So that's done. Now we're using Hard Candy Sensitive Skin Primer, Dermatologist Tested, Non-Comedogenic, Oil-Free and Silicone-Free. So we're going to put a dollop of that, about that much, a little pea size, on our hand. And we're going to rub it to heat it up. And then we're just going to get where our pores, our main pores are. And we're going to lightly get our T-zone. But the cheeks and the nose would be our main concern. So should we do a no foundation look or should we do a foundation look? Well, I already put on primer, so we'll do a little foundation look. So this is what we're working with right now. I used Tattoo Studio and a little brush to fill in my eyebrows last night. I'm Dark Brown in Tattoo Studio. If you want to get it, I love the product. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. I used this with a very, very small pencil brush and just kind of made my own wing and all that good stuff. So moving forward, let's go ahead and use our L'Oreal 24 hour coverage. Texture is air light, coverage is high, wear up to 24 hours and the finish is natural. This is infallible total coverage by L'Oreal Paris, number 305 natural beige. So for this guy, I like to put it very minimal. I like to just, this is even a lot right now. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna take a flat, top brush and this is actually by Believe Beauty the Jeffree Star approved brush and then I'm going to use coconut toner as a little spritzer and we're just going to buff this in just as a little something if you see me looking this way that's where my mirror is because our skin doesn't need much coverage it's like I need to break out the BB cream. Okay, so I'll do the other side on film. And they say not to slide it, but it's such minimal product. And this is really bothering me. This red spot on my shoulder. Gone. <laughs> 
it really is full coverage to the T. All right, so we're done with that. Let's go ahead and conceal now, and then put on some lipsticks. Lipstick, we're using Physician Strength Concealer. This is RX Conceal. It is in the shade Fair Light. I don't, I use very minimal product. Very, very, very minimal. After this, we're going to move on to the blush. Again, I soak the brush. It's okay if you get it on your bottom lashes, as we will be putting mascara on them later. And just, do you see that coverage? Just get the top of your eye as a primer for your eyeshadow as well. Sorry about the music in the background. Hopefully it's muffled. My fiance was in the shower. Okay, so that looks A1. So we're good to go with that. Now this is Believe Beauty's blush. It broke. I used rubbing alcohol to fix it. Girls got you. So let's put on our lipstick really quickly. This is LA Colors. I'm using drugstore products, mostly. We're not going to use our Jeffree Star Concealer today. Instead, we use the RX Conceal. Okay, and now that our lipstick is on and that is so loud, okay, let's put on our blush. Where's my blush brush? There it is. Okay, so duh, blah, moment. Okay, let's put on our blush, and there's so much more pigment now that I fixed it, too. I noticed. Look at that. Two little dabs. And then. Obviously, we're going to want to fan that out. Again, I'm just gonna smear it right there. Doing pretty good with you guys so far. I haven't stuttered, nothing. Haven't messed up my words. It's weird. All right, so we're gonna get our chin and then we're gonna warm up our forehead. Now we're going to get in our nose. 
And then why not, we're going to use our Mineral Effects Baked Bronzer as well before we contour. So we're going to just use that. It's kind of more like a highlight, I've noticed. Okay, so next up will be our contour. Let's go ahead and throw on, um, this is Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. Sorry, I was painting my wall red. <laughs> We're going to put this on our lashes and let it dry while we put on other stuff. It really has made a big impact in my eyelashes, and I've been using it for about a few days, a few days now. Um, so really all that's left is eyes, eyes and contour. So I'm going to contour right now, and then all that's left is going to be eyes. So let's go ahead. This is a contour stick. This is CoverGirl Simply Ageless and Scent Fix Advanced Concealer. So I'm using a concealer stick as contour. So remember, like anything you can, you can use anything as contour. It just has to be a certain warm tone to match your skin color or it's going to look weird. So we're just going to pat, pat, pat. Or pounce, as Nikki Tutorials would say. Let me look in the mirror. Looks perfect in the mirror. Let's do this sign. And let's go ahead and do our nose while we're at it because I haven't contoured my nose with this in a long time. So I like to do right there and right there. I only put a line, a little tiny line because I don't want it to just go overboard. It is my shade though, so we shall see. Okay, so that did actually contour our nose really good. I'm freaking shocked. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, I'm pulling out Jeffree Star to highlight our nose. Why not? I mean, hello. Well, let's just use Conceal RX and save Jeffrey. Well, Jeffrey's whiter, so let's use Jeffrey. I know y'all want to see Jeffrey. Where are you, Jeffrey? This is C3. So this is a very pale color. I've never contoured my nose like this. I have no idea how this is going to turn out.
I feel like it looks bigger than it did. Alright, let's just skip the nose because the nose knows. And let's go ahead and put on a little bit of our one stuff that we had, our blush on it, our bronzer. And so this is one side. This is the front. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the eyes. First, I'm going to start out with Estee Lauder Burnt Black Magic Smoky Powder Eyeshadow Stick. I find it doesn't really work for that, and it works for your waterline. So I'm going to go to the end of my eye to about halfway where my pupil is. Okay, so now let's have fun with um, Hello Afterglow from Five and Below. Let's have fun with some highlight. I'm going to go Cosmos Purple. See that? Okay, so I think we're gonna skip our liquid eyeliner on the top of our eyes today. We're gonna dive into Revolution. This is Flawless 4 Palette by Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna use my blending and diffusing, shading and diffusing eye brush by Bare Minerals. This is my lip for this brush. And then we're going to go into this kind of maroon brown color to match my pants. We're going a little higher than our crease. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so that's the same. And now let's just go ahead and bring that in. Okay, love that. I love that maroon shade for the outside of my eyes. So that means the inside's gonna be sparkly. So we're gonna use this right here and dive into the Warrior Juvia's Place palette. And I'm gonna go with either a hosey or a marini i think marini it is <laughs> we'll do this in the corners Okay, we're almost done. Now 
I just need mascara after this. And I am going to blend it out underneath my eyes with Marini. Hi, blunt man. He won't talk to me when I call him that. Okay, let me just get up here. Hi, love of my life. Okay, so now we've got the sparkles and then the maroon, sparkles and the maroon. We're going to use a matte, a Hosi, right in the lid. This matte, a Hosi, actually matches the sparkles I just put on, so perfect. I haven't done very much of an intricate, intricate, intricate <laughs> eye look before. But I love it. So that's what we're working with. I do want to use the matte shade and buff out the top. We're buffing out the top. Okay, so we gotta hurry. We're already like 25 minutes into this. Alright. So, eyeshadow, I mean, mascara, and we are done. But since we've already broken out all the stops, why not put on some liquid eyeliner? It's going to make this look 10 million times better. So, this is Wet n Wild Mega Last. It's personally my favorite. My favorite. So, we're going to put this on. I'm going to look into the mirror. Okay, and I only go to the pupil. Okay, so that's our right eye. Let's do our left. I didn't line my lips or anything yet. I'm not going to. I'm not a fan of lip filler. I mean, sure, if someone else pays. Okay, just kidding. All right, so. Let me just fix up this eye real quick on cam. Okay, and then mascara, and we are done. Alright, so I'm going to use this Great Lash Mascara for our bottom lashes, and then I'll take my hair down. So you can see the final look. We got both of the bottom lashes covered. Let's do the top.
right, we're done. We just got to clean up this little tiny mark. Okay. Are you ready for the finale? It's not a big one. I'm just taking my hair down. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye.